Hello everybody, Zumartrix here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Auto Legality mod, along with some of its features, into PK Hex. Now there are a couple things you're going to need first. First off, you're going to need an installation of uh, Microsoft Virtual Studio 2017. Uh, I'll link that down in the description. And you'll also need the downloads for both the Auto Legality mod and PK Hex. Those can be found on their GitHub pages, also linked down in the description. You come up here to clone or download the big green button, which will be right here, and you hit download zip, and you do that for both of them. So download those to the same location, and once you do, go ahead and extract both of them. Just hit extract here. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go into the auto legality mod, and you're going to double click both of these, or you're going to click on both of these and you copy. Then you're going to go back to update and into the PK Hex master folder and paste them there. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is click on this pkhex.sln that is a solution file for Microsoft Visual Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that and it will open up Visual Studio for me. Alright, so once you have it loaded up, this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit Windows key right. That'll go ahead and put this window right here. Then I'm going to click on this folder and hit Windows key left. And now I have full access to both of these windows, nice and easy. Now the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to scroll down in Visual Studio until you see this pkhex.winforms folder. You're going to come back over to pkhex master, take the auto legality mod and drag that right on top of the winforms folder. It'll prompt you to like, one or more files may be moved, blah, blah, blah. Just hit okay. All right, once the auto legality folder shows up here, you're gonna wanna just expand all of these folders, just the actual folders themselves, not the rest of it. And you'll see reset.pk7 and evolutions.txt. Both of these, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on them, come down here to build action and change the build action to embedded resource for both of them. It will take a moment upon clicking embedded resource. Just give it a second. Once those are both embedded resources, you can go ahead and click on the auto legality folder to close that. And then you're gonna wanna come down here to mainwindow.cs, main.cs, and then double click on main.designer.cs. That'll bring up this, this is what it should look like. Now we're gonna go back to the PK Hex auto legality page. And we're already down to here. Go ahead and copy this little section right here. Go back to PK, uh, the Microsoft Visual Studio. You're going to hit Control F and then Control V. And that'll show you this little bit of code right here. Now what you're looking for is the first semicolon, which is actually right here. Go ahead and hit Enter. Go back to the GitHub, copy this line of code, make sure you copy right before the T, come back to Visual Studio and paste that right here. Now once you've done that, you are done. You have the base mod installed. What you would do is you'd come up here, you'd right click on solution, and you'd click rebuild solution. I'll go ahead and show you that now actually. So it's going to give you some text down at the bottom here. Just wait for that to uh, go for a moment. If it spits out a bunch of errors, you did something wrong. Uh, you might have not pasted it after the semicolon. You might have pasted it in the wrong place. Double check that. Um, but, you know, double check the video, all that. Now, once it says rebuild all three succeeded, zero failed, zero skip, that means everything worked out. You can find the exported PK hex. Give me a moment. Excuse that cut, I had to sneeze. Ugh. All right, you can find the PK hex uh, installation in your PK hex uh, your PK hex master. Go into WinForms, bin, debug, and all that. That is your uh, PK hex installation right there. Um, now, before I go ahead and do that, I will show you how to do a couple of the. Uh, additional features that this has. All right, don't close this. If you want to install the 
additional features, we're gonna need this later. Alright, so the first one is the custom trainer ID, secret ID, and original trainer. This is actually a new feature, it's really helpful, uh, and it's really nice. So you're gonna go ahead and copy all of this, you're gonna go back to the installation folder of PK Hex, and you're going to create a new text file. So new text document, name that trainer data. TXT. Go ahead and go into that and paste everything from that section that I copied down here. Now this you can change all of this to uh, match whatever trainer ID you know you want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to Texas. Oh, make, sh make sure you spell it right. That is really important. Subreaching. Uh oh no wait hold on. Sorry, United States. Let me double check that. The easiest way to double check whether or not... Oh, come on, ABG. Alright, I got ABG to go away. The easiest way to check to make sure you're spelling it right, go down here to this section of PK Hex, and you can click Americas. You'd have to copy all of that. Subregion... Oh, I'm sorry. Country is going to be United States, correct? Yeah, United States right here, and then go and find, you know, your state or sub-region of wherever you are. I'm in Texas, so I'm going to go ahead and edit my information into this. So, United States, Texas, America's NASA, uh, Gender M, Original Trainer, oh, Jacob. I have a new keyboard, so sorry I'm typing weird. I know 41532, and my secret ID, believe it or not, is 33333. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit File, Save, and just to show you guys that that is working, let me go ahead and test this with Showdown. All right, so here I have Pokemon Showdown pulled up, and I'm gonna go ahead, let's just take... Please do not burn here. Copy all that. We go to Tools, Showdown, Import with Auto Legality Mod, yes. And as you can see, it automatically came up as legal. And Original Trainer, Jacob, 41532, and what was the other bit there? Oh, Region, Main. United States, Texas, North America. There you go. All of that is set up and working. So now let's go on to the PGL QR uh, Jenner thingy majig. So you're gonna need to close uh, PK Hex and then come back over to Visual Studio. This is why I said you need to not close that. And then we're gonna go back in the folder. We're gonna go back to the PK Hex Master add-ons PGL QR. And just so you're in this folder, now scroll down in Visual Studio until you see the WinForms folder again and drag PGL Rental Legality into WinForms. Yes, okay. Alright, once you drag that over here, go to PGL Rental Legality, open, oh my goodness, that was wrong, Resources, Text. You're gonna want to set both of these as an embedded resource. So, Click on it, down in build action, embedded resource. Click on this, and oh, that was not where I need to click. All right, once you have both of these as embedded resources, you're gonna wanna come up to the PK Hex WinForms again, and then come down to references. Right click on that and click add references. Once this comes up, this is an ABC order. So you're looking for system.numerics, let's see. I scrolled right past it. I just said it was an ABC order. Come on. System.numerics right here. You're gonna tick this little box. Then you're gonna come down to browse and you see bouncycastle.crypto.ext. So go ahead uh, and click that little checkbox and hit OK. And that's going to take a moment to load. That is totally normal. So just let that do its thing. Alright, so once that's done, you can go ahead and close the references thing. Go ahead and Close this, and then you're looking for a main window. Open main window. This all should be open from earlier. You see, 
If not, open main.cs and main.design.cs. Uh, scroll up to the top, this is what it should look like. Now, I'm going to put this down in the description, uh, what you're going to search for and what you're going to paste. So go down to the description, and you're going to copy this menu showdown dot drop down items and you're going to search for that by hitting control f and control v all right right here you're going to find this you're going to hit enter to go to a new line then down in the description you're going to copy the next part that is labeled copy and you're going to paste that right here into menu dot menu showdown dot drop down items blah 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 all right so you're gonna put that right after where we put the enable auto get blah 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 you're gonna put that right after where we put auto enable legality auto legality i can't talk all of a sudden you're going to put that right after the enable auto legality plate paste that we pasted earlier then you're going to go ahead and go back up to the solutions.pkhex and build solution. Now if you did everything correctly, once again, you should eventually get the, uh, you know, three succeeded. So let's see if I did everything correctly. Hopefully I did. If I didn't, I'm in no place to uh, teach you that you didn't. Now you're going to get a bunch of errors here saying something along the lines of like variable E was declared but never used. Don't worry about that. All that matters is this build three succeeded. Perfect, that is what we wanted to see. So we're gonna come back over to the PK hex folder, uh, back to the wind forms, bin, debug, PK hex. Uh, so now it should have, oh my goodness, AVG every single time. All right, so now if you hit tools, hover over showdown, now you have export PGL QR code. And so if you have a QR code for that, you can uh, copy it and then click this. Click on the export PGL QR code and it'll put those Pokemon, it'll put that team into the first six slots of PK Hex. So that is how you install the auto legality mod, how you set up the, the, the trainer ID and all that and how you install the PGL QR code generator. Till next time, everybody. Zemonatrix signing out. At least till the next update, I guess.